Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be covering a different variation of a setup that I don't see implemented too often. Um, so right here we have our GHDs and um, this is kind of thought of as maybe the pinnacle or a, a very challenging version of a setup. And it is, it requires a, a strong core to get that full range of motion. But when I think of GHDs, I think of doing sets of uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe even more than that. It's a great conditioning tool for higher volume work. It gets involved the quads and the hip flexors. And I like to think of it as more of kind of a full body core workout. I know that kind of doesn't make sense, but you're using a lot more muscles than just your core. Um, you can do things like loaded GHDs, and that's cool, but I think I have a better option for being able to load the abs heavy. The abs are just like any other muscle. They benefit from tr different types of training stimulus, light, higher reps, heavy, lower reps. And that heavy, lower reps seems to be uh, missed quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you a way to load up those abs heavy and be able to do sets of five, six, seven reps at a time to get a different stimulus. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this setup is a pair of dumbbells to anchor the feet down. You can really use whatever to keep those feet anchored down, but I like a pair of dumbbells. You're gonna need to, some load to add to you. Um, and then ideally we use an ab mat as well. Um, that helps us get into that kind of overextended position so you can get that full range of motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor our feet underneath these dumbbells and we're gonna add load. I like to just use like some change plates because it's easy to just progress. So I'll grab two to start, so 10 pounds, and we're gonna put them on the back of our head. Control down, lightly tap, sit all the way up and through. Control down, lightly tap, sit all the way up and through. You can just continue to add load via change plates um, to get the load to what you need to hit your target rep range. If we're looking to go a little bit heavier um, than what change plates make sense for, it becomes a little bit of a burden to hold a bunch of change plates. We can switch to a dumbbell, but I don't recommend putting that behind your head as that's kind of uncomfortable. We can go ahead and put that on the chest. Just know that because we're lowering it, uh, the weight down closer to our hips, it is gonna be a little bit easier. So you might need to get kind of a heavier dumbbell than you think. But what that looks like is this. So same setup, we're gonna hold that dumbbell right on our collarbones, and it's gonna stay in contact with our collarbones. So it should look the same there. What we wanna avoid is taking that weight and throwing it and using it as momentum. It kind of negates the whole purpose of adding load to this exercise. So keeping everything static and strict, um, and honestly keeping things pretty slow to get that time under tension for the abs. So if you're wanting to give this variation of a sit up a go, I'd recommend starting out by finding a load that challenges you to do 10 reps in a row. That would be a good starting point. From there, you could continue to add load and play around with lower volume, like eights, six, maybe even just sets of five. Um, remember the idea here is to load the abs heavier than what you're used to. So you're not gonna be able to get a ton of reps um, and that's the whole point. So give it a go, let me know what you think.